Hello, I'm Yomi Olufiade and this is your word for the week. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 3. The Bible says, The Lord has appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn you. I bring you a word of hope this week. Hear what the Bible said, this same verse in the message Bible. He said, he said, God told them, I've never quit loving you and never will. Expect love, love, and more love. God is saying to you today, I have never quit loving you. Maybe someone out here is listening to me and you're feeling abandoned. You are feeling the circumstances of life. They are caving you in. They are crashing down on you and you are saying, oh God, where are you? Hear the word of the Lord this week. I have never quit loving you and I never will. That is God's word to you this week. I don't know what you are facing or what this week will bring, but I am sure of one constant thing. God will not quit loving you. Hear the word of the Lord. Look at verse 4. He said it again in that Jeremiah 31. He said again, I will build thee and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets and thou shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. He said, thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria. God is saying, whatever you have lost, whatever has broken down around you, maybe your business has broken down, your marriage has broken down, God is saying, I will rebuild. I will again build you and you shall be built. He said, you shall be adorned. God will clothe you with beauty. He will give you beauty for your ashes. He will turn your mourning into dancing again. That business is picking up. He said, you shall yet plant vines vines upon the mountains of Samaria. He said, the planter shall plant and shall eat them as common things. Hallelujah. This week, there shall be a revival of dead businesses, revival of dead marriages, revival of things that are dead around you. Look at verse 7. He said, for thus hear the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. He said, Behold, I will bring them forth from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. And within the blind and the lame, the woman with child and had a traveler with child together. Verse 9. He said, They shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of water in a straight way, wherein thou shalt not stumble. There shall be a restoration for you this week. There shall be a restoration, saith the Lord. In verse 10, he said, Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in the eyes of our of Say, He that scattered Israel will gather him and keep him glory to God. That's your word, dear brother and sister, listening to me right now. He that scattered you will yet gather you once again. God is in the business of gathering together the broken pieces of our life and constructing an edifice that will inspire nations. Uh, glory to God forevermore. Look at, look at verse 13. He said, Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. He said, For I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satiate the soul of the priest with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, saith the Lord. This week you will be satisfied with the goodness of of the Lord. God bless you. Have a powerful, anointed, testimonies-filled week in Jesus' name.